monetary policy created the disaster that we're living. The banking crisis that we're living right now is a direct consequence of low rates and massive liquidity injections. Banks would have not taken the amount of risk that they have taken in sovereign bonds had it not been for the central bank purchasing massive amounts of those sovereign bonds at any price, at any time, all the time. More importantly, banks would have not had such a massive financial hole in their accounts, in their balance sheet, if their assets generated a decent level of profitability, i.e. if interest rates were not negative. Hmm? Negative rates have destroyed the perception of risk, are the destruction of money. They have made everyone believe that they were prudent when, when the reality was that they were taking uh, an increasing amount of risk for a decreasing level of yield. And massive liquidity injections have disguised the uh, perception of risk as well by elevating the bubble and the price and the valuation of all risky assets almost in unison. So cheap money is extremely expensive, and I've always said it. And in my book, Escape from the Central Bank Trap, I explained that in 2011, when central banks started to prolong what was considered an extraordinary measure, quantitative easing, and, it, and they continued as it was the norm. And then they moved into negative rates and continued to purchase uh, sovereign bonds and mortgage-backed securities, even equities like the Bank of Japan. What they were creating were the foundations of the next financial crisis. Right now, the banking crisis may be manageable. But if they continue with the aggressive level of risk accumulation incentivized by monetary policy and regulation, then we will go into a much deeper and prolonged crisis. And remember, no regulation would have prevented this banking crisis when it is the regulation itself that considers that investing massively in sovereign bonds has no risk because it's, a, it, it's supposed to be a risk-free asset. Furthermore, no stress test would have anticipated what has happened with some of the regional banks in the United States because the central bank itself was the one accumulating risk in long-term sovereign bonds. Therefore, there's a lesson here for everyone. Regulation and monetary policy are not disguising, are not helping reduce risk. They are incentivizing, they are incentivizing more risk. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, leave your comments below and keep defending freedom. Thank you very much.